I gave him a fair time amount. So when we last left our band of merry misfits, uh, a lot has happened. Originally, our gentum stayed back with Taka because he was currently blind and he couldn't find his way around, so he's kind of being a seeing eye dragon. Uh, with the others going outside, Ivan, Rouge, and uh, Chandra dealing with a caravan and Calder getting flung into the f desert because he messed around with portal magic. My fault. Yeah. It might be. Uh, Ivan, uh, Chandra, and Rouge met two weird brothers who were purple and gold and he got a weird snake with feathers from them. Yep. Named and Lucy. Lucy. And she could change size. After that, they met a woman who was dressed in a large orange coat that seemed to be made of pockets. So jealous. Yeah. Yep, and she introduced herself as Ardette with an accent that is unplaceable because I cannot nail one down. Mm -hmm. And she, like, with a bit of a payment, a, a strange price of valuables or a good story, she led you into her Oddly enough, a horse, a carriage drawn by what was apparently purple horses, but upon further inspection, you found they were actually crystal horse horses made of amethyst. Yep. And the entire cart was made of different colored gems, just to look to resemble. Like there was some brown diamonds, there was some quartz. Went to Jared for those horses. No, no, Jerry. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, she went to Jared. <laughs> Not in this universe. <laughs> uh, she went to Jerry. We don't even have a Jerry's in my town. Yeah, me neither. There's one in Greenwood and it got robbed recently. Oh, Jesus. Now, robbery, yeah. we have plenty of that in my town. Okay, and with that, and Calden went out to the desert, and long ago you guys heard rumors of a dragon named Ash Ruler. Calden got to meet the dragon. He saw him sleeping and decided to approach by himself. He I approached never claimed it was smart. He approached the sleeping oh. dragon by himself. He luck he somehow, through a combination of very good rolls and some fast talking, convinced the dragon he wasn't the best treat, and they torched what seemed to be a frontline battalion heading for Dauntless Peaks made of Yon Sea. The dragon started, you know, chowing down some Yonti heads, some nice like snake barbecue. Yum yum carnivores. And, but after that, uh, the dragon, like, made a, co a deal with him to give him, uh, use his lant, his javelin, and he rode the dragon, and he kind of shushed about a few yonti. Then, he, the dragon, to keep appearances, he tried to, he had to try to eat one of the yonti bodies, and for all intents and purposes, he did, but he didn't actually eat it, as that weird dark, uh, inky stuff bubbled up and kind of dissolved the corpse in the shape of a bite. Yep. And with that, and inside the cart that is apparently on their way around here, uh, Rouge found a weird box that she doesn't know if she wants to open or not. It might have a demon or a puppy in it. Or both. Oh. Or, or both. both. Demon puppies. Yep. Demon Just a little mini Cerberus. All of its heads are different breeds. <gasps> that sounds adorable. It's just like a, it's just like a, it's just like a husky, a beagle, and a German Shepherd. <laughs> oh, I want it. Uh, uh, mm. It's like, and with that, we'll pick up in the cart. You guys, it's the scorching hot desert heat. Uh, yeah, this song works. Scorching Heart Desert Heat, and all the crystal chairs you got are pretty much conducive to you sitting. Uh, you're just still digging through all of uh, Ardette's various sales stuff while you're walking. Uh, Chandra's being extremely quiet, and Ivan's just grumpily snoring. That bastard. So, Rouge, what would you like to do? Where are we heading again? You told me you wanted to head you tell me. This trip was for you, remember? 
This trip was for you, remember? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I get paid for the trip, lady! And you gotta go that on it! I, that I did. So where do you wanna go? <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm, I'm concerned. This is a woman, by the way. Oh, it's... Uh, where was I? <laughs> God damn, I've slept too long since then. Uh, can I do a history check? History check, sure. <laughs> oh god. You remember getting in this cart. You don't remember yeah. why. All like I rem when you really when you boil it down, you're like, oh shit, hot girl invited me into a cart. Yep. That hot was like, girl invited me into a car. I had to go rescue friend. I've rescued friend. Where do we go now? It's like count your friends. <laughs> six. B. We've got six. It's like, do we need to go back to the oasis? Do we need to go to the dock? Do we need to head to Ivan's place now? Well, Ivan's uh, asleep and... Okay, he's in the server. We do need to go to Ivan's. Okay, he's in the game, he's in the server. Now he's gonna join the voice. Okay, so let, let's go to Ivan's. Where's... Well, you got... You know what? Rouge doesn't know where Ivan lives, because like, no one ever told her. Yeah, that's in the other direction, Missy! You told me you are going away from the Dallas... Other direction, Missy! You told me you were going away from the Dallas Peaks! Now you wanna go back?! That's crazy! That's crazy talk, girl! Rue should not be left in charge. <laughs> I mean, you came out here to find somebody, right? Yep, we found him. Who was it? Who'd you find? We found Calden! Calden! Oh shit, did we find him? I, thought, I, I thought we didn't find him last session. No, we found him. Oh shit, I, I completely fucked over that. Over it. Oh my. Hello, yeah. Calden I waves from five feet away. Where are we going? We're going after the dragon. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, the one that's sleeping over here. Yep. Oh yeah, because we want to see about the orb that he has. Yeah, the stone. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to point the way, called. Oh, okay, yeah. I, po I point in the direction where I came from. Okay, so you're going to start leading him back to the dragon. That's right, you walked over here. Oh, sweet. Leo's here. Sorry, Bodhi's here. Can you hear me, yeah. Bodhi, can you hear me? Bodhi. My dwarf friend. Are you here? Bodhi. <sighs> Fiddle bricks. Fiddle bricks, huh? What? I found like there's only two ways to make an insult hit. Either you can't curse at all, or you have to curse in the most bizarre way possible. Shit. Or do that. Just have the. Mm. God damn it. I'm back. I'm coming. I'm coming. Uh, what the hell? <laughs> I accidentally closed my entire window instead of the tab I was working on. Ah. Oh dear. Okay. <sighs> All right. Okay. So Ivan's just snoring in the side. You lead and called along. The sun is high and the sand is warm. If there was a beach, it'd be a very nice day. But it's not a beach. It's just endless tiny rocks. Hmm. So want to get all up in your skivvies? Your skivvies. <laughs> skivvies. Like. Uh, I mean, you're free to do that, but it will remove some of your AC. No, <laughs> I don't feel like anybody wants to do that. No, it's nah. not really a great beach setting. Yeah. Okay. You know, for all that time we spent at the ocean, we never did have a beach episode. There wasn't uh, really a beach on Los Taka. No, there wasn't. There were the sand pits. Close enough. And the shark pits, but you never went there. Because you know, sharks. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they're friendly. Okay. So, I'm going to use Calden going up as your visual indicator. 
So, eventually called it leads you back to the familiar place for a few of you, because the Oasis. Mm -hmm. And I gotta go back to that page on my screen. Although, now there seems to have been shit happening, because uh, this purple area, there's this giant chunk just out of the rock. Mm. Uh. But, well... Something happened here. Yep. Mm. Called it. Yep. That happened to you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I did. Yeah. <laughs> Would you like to elaborate? Uh, okay. So I, I kind of tell them the story of how I ended up out here. And how I semi... Okay, I, I was about to say semi-befriended a dragon, but really I was tolerated by a dragon. And, uh... Oh my god, he's learning. Oh my god. Knowledge is power. <laughs> the knowledge to know the big fire-breathing monster isn't my friend? Yes. I mean, to be fair, you are a big fire-breathing monster. Yeah, but this one is bigger, and I walk on two legs. <laughs> uh... <laughs> and I tell them... I tell them that story, and that I learned the, the stone is inside it. And that it was around here. So, it's like, wait, how? And this lady who you, Ardette, goes, plays up, like, how is a stone inside a dragon? How does that make sense, brother? Well, don't a lot of beasts just eat rocks like chickens? Chickens eat rocks to help with their digestion. Dragons aren't chickens, they're dragons! Are they kind of like big chickens? They just eat meat? You're thinking of T-Rexes. I learned something new today, guys. <laughs> in real life or in the game? Real life. Chickens eat rocks. Yep. Oh. <sighs> okay. Alright, well. guys. Time to take a back seat. Main character's here. <coughs> oh, thank God. We what? didn't know what we were going to do without you. I had actually a backup plan this week because I didn't have one last time. It had been like an hour long session. <laughs> Alright, so Ivan, you have been snoring away in a cart because you're bored and you couldn't really muster up the energy to resist before due to shock, and that's the kind of explanation for you missing two sessions. Uh, so, you like are just like in your sleep state. You're kind of just thinking of everything that pisses you off lately. So, what pisses you off lately? I don't know. Um, does it? Yourself? Okay, that's one good point. Do any of your team piss you off? So, no, not really. Okay, that well, that's who shoots that in the foot. Okay, uh, so you eventually like you wake up. Thinking of trying to get, like, what is your goal right now? Is what I'm trying to ascertain. Like, you wake up and you're in a weird car in the middle of the desert. What's your first immediate feeling? Well, I need to find my. Uh, did you cut off there? Nope. Like, I need to find my. You just said find my cyst. Er. Okay. So you like you go outside and you see Calden explaining that he apparently uh, talked down a dragon to Rouge, and really? yeah, and that's where we're picking up. Ivan, do you want to say something? Really? <laughs> Dude, you came in with main character coming through. I thought you'd have something to say. <laughs> well, I didn't hear any of them talk about anything, so... It was summarized. I that... just woke up, right? Well, no, I'm saying you just woke up and you came out to them having a conversation where Calden said he went up and talked to a dragon. And didn't die. Oh, right. Yeah. That, was, that was just dumb luck, really. It was very dumb luck. <laughs> 
So I'm saying that's when you come out, is them discussing it and him talking about a dragon being around here that he was talking about. And they're also talking about a gem in the dragon's stomach. That's all you've heard, is what I'm trying to say. Hmm. The gem, I can... I think I can... Say it makes some sense. You talking down a dragon? No. You're pulling my leg. Calden, you gonna respond to that? I'm sorry, it came through weird. What did he say? Can you repeat yourself, Ivan? Hello. Well, he pretty much said that he doesn't uh, believe that you talked out a dragon. You're full of shit, is what he said. And why don't you believe that? Because it's a fucking dragon? Well, it's what happened. It, it, it's a red one. It's a chromatic dragon. Most fuckers don't like talking. Well, this one talked, and it seemed... Hmm. <laughs> what, well, like, well, I... What's the word for less than friendly? <laughs> yeah, it, it seemed less than friendly, and after talking to it, it seemed less... At first it wanted to eat me, it, it considered it, and then I, and then it just seemed irritated with my presence. So I think I think that's why it didn't eat me. It just got annoyed. Is it fucked up that I, I understand where it comes from? <laughs> nah. Good. No, annoyance is a, is a good survival tactic. I'd like to make a deal. Are you sure hey, that's about... my line, little miss. <laughs> oh, God. Well, what do you have to offer this time? She, like, reaches into her, like, many, like, her coat of many pockets. It's like, in one, she just, like, pulls out a giant lance. Nah. Like, pulls out a stick of what looks like, uh, like, little containers that are wrapped up and have fuses on them. Nah. She pulls out, like, a plethora of gem necklaces. Nah. It's like... And then she pulls out a box of matches. Aha! I got these? Nah, I'm good. <laughs> oh, no you aren't. Aren't you all looking for... Aren't you all looking for something, my sisters and brothers? Yes, but I don't think you can supply it. I can't supply what you're looking for, but I can get you there. Wink. <laughs> Huh. <laughs> I well, woke up to our gentleman. Who's the lost? Very lost. I try to give him a summary. It's yeah. a problem you miss a month it, and a half of sessions. Yeah, I didn't think it was that long either. Well, Easter screwed everything up again. Damn it, Jesus. Yeah. Damn it, Jesus. It's like I'm trying to talk about the merchant. Where the hell did they get here? You went in a cart with them. Thanks, Jesus. And her name is Ardet of Dogos, Ivan. Dogos. I know you're saying that like I'm supposed to be remembering something here. It's on your goddamn character sheet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the bit that you edited, remember? That's what I'm... I, I worked with you before you even joined the game about this character. <laughs> Ray. Well, <laughs> that changes things significantly. Changes everything. <laughs> you have no idea, my scaly friend. Oh. Oh my. Did she know that I've been here this whole time? Yeah, but <laughs> she, she honestly, unless you are like paying her, she barely pays attention to you half the time, because you're actually like, literally. Because, like, she has a problem of literal beneath notice. She forgets to look down half the time. Because of, like, many wow. pockets. <laughs> like, the pockets block her view. So sometimes she actually forgets there's people shorter than her. Huh. 
She has tripped over many a cattail. <laughs> you just gave me the image of that shady person that you buy drugs off at the corner store. Where he's yep. like, he's like, hey, hey, you wanna buy some stuff? You wanna buy some drugs? That's pretty much who she the, is, the except pocket of pockets. It, that's pretty much who she is, but her pockets are on the outside and on the inside. <laughs> hey kid, you want some drugs? I got those too. Are you the, resi are you the okay. Resident Evil Four merchant? What are you buying? <laughs> you Less <laughs> smokery. <laughs> like you don't feel like you'll get a disease just from touching her. Oh. Okay, the RE Four merchant felt like that. Come on. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Well, if you need a demonstra if you need a demonstration, my brothers and sisters, it's like as she's going to like take the match pack, and she's going to light one of the matches, and it's gonna burn with a blue flame, that turns white hot, and back to blue again, and then she's going to toss it over to Calden. Calden, do you try to catch it? Yes. Okay, make a dexterity saving throw. Oh boy. Okay. Ooh, dexterity, my old enemy. Mm, mm, mm. You do have a plus four bonus to this because of your charisma. Hello, oh, okay. Dexter, my old One sec. Oh shit, yeah, I forgot about that. Or of protection. Yeah, yeah, I, I apologize, it's, it's, it's plus two. I'm also... Uh, 13. Where am I? Uh, just a second. I've got an aura too. Okay, so you failed, but the match like bounces behind your shadow. But your shadow doesn't disappear in the light. Instead, the light kind of gets subsumed into the shadow. And your shadow kind of stretches out a bit, awkwardly. And then, for half a second, it seems to detach from your feet. And a weird shadowy form of another armored dragonborn shows up. And But instead of having gold scales, he has silver scales. And a very familiar friend of yours seems to arrive. Sup? Argentum! Buddy! Pal! How are you? I don't know. One minute I was enjoying a nice meal and now I'm here. So, good to see you. Yep. And well, after, well. like, the light disappears, Calden Shadow just returns normally. <laughs> it's a Peter what? Pan come true. What the fuck did those matches just do? They break out, they like let you summon anyone who was a very, very close relative. Two Dragonborn Paladins? Very close. If they're not close if they're not if they're not that close, then it'll just tell you the way. For example, she tosses another match and tries to hit it into Rouge's shadow, unless Rouge tries to prevent it. Uh no, Rouge is just gonna let it go of my shadow. Yep. Okay, so it like pops out of Rouge's shadow, goes, and then the shadow forms into Recky, and then like the shadow seems to go above your head and form into an arrow pointing back towards Bafaret. Gotcha. Hmm. It's literally like how much? Uh, <laughs> how much? <laughs> well, I see that nice fancy gun you got recently. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, what you got to offer there? What you got? What you got to offer there, my little brother? <laughs> Money. <laughs> I've got money. <laughs> she has no interest. No, in no, money. yeah, you know this. She doesn't interest in money. The way you got out the first time is you sold her your beard. Do you remember when we discussed this? <laughs> mm. I actually don't remember that part. You told like because you said you had a short beard before you went to uh, you short beard before you went to Lestaka. You've been there for two years. You grew it back out. I had dwarves grow hair fast because they're dwarves. So you sold her your beard originally because it was like very elegantly braided. I'm sure. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Your beard is not mm. as quite as elegant now. Because you know um, barnacles. Barnacles. How many pockets did we say I made in my ornaments in my beard? Uh, you have, I believe, five pounds of storage. Uh. Yeah, but didn't I say we like spread it out through different pockets? Uh, yeah, but it's like, like one big sack. Yeah, but it's still five pounds throughout. The a beard can't hold that much. Like you would need a strong ass neck. I mean, you have a strong neck, but dude, 
I've lifted shit. It's a shit. bag of holding, like, the weight doesn't... Oh, no! Oh, we were talking about the beard of holding! Sorry, I thought we were talking about the... I thought we were talking about the yeah. knitting part. Yeah. <laughs> the beard of Another. holding. Oh, yeah. Sorry, no, yeah. this this is the thing we made. No, that was about 20 pounds across the entire beard. Of stuff you could hold with indefinitely. Okay. Like, you hold it and there's no weight to it. Because bag of holding was a lot harder to make, and this is actually weaved into the fibers of your beard. Oh, man. Alright, well. Wait, into the fibers of the beard? I thought it was in the little ornaments that he has braided into it. I, I thought we made it out of the beard. Didn't you use your, like, you to enchant it? No, no. See the shit that's on his beard? The gold stuff? Oh, yeah, you're right. My bad. Yeah, 20 pounds. I had to put it in that. Yeah, I thought those were the beard of. I thought that was the beard of spell storing. The beard of spell storing. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll take a moment to unbraid one of them, and I'll present it. Okay. So you see Ivan go flip, 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 and he and you show her the rings, and our dad's face. This one. Our dead's face doesn't light up quite as lot much. Like he lights up, it's like very, 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 very interesting, little man. Very interesting. I like it. I like it a lot. Hmm. All right. Here's. It's like that'll get you three matches. Uh. I would like to note the arrow to uh, Recky has not gone away yet. Hmm. <laughs> it won't go away till they get to him, maybe. Oh god. Hmm. Just imagine her running into Jerry and be like, Lucy, you got some splaining to do. Lucy's hmm. Lucy's here back in the cart, you left her. Oh yeah, Lucy! The snake s <laughs> out. Lucy. Oh me or M. We're just gonna like the name? Yes! Oh, we're going with Julia Squeezer. Julia's a squeezer. <laughs> I couldn't remember that one, but since she's a flying snake, I could remember Lucy in the sky with diamonds. Hey, I am there you go. I mean, there, I mean, gonna... middle names exist. That's true. <laughs> Lucy, <laughs> Julia, Squeezer, the Codal. All right. <laughs> she's gonna. We're just gonna ask Lucy if she wants to be picked up. Animal handling. Alright. Survey says. I'm actually gonna get your proficiency if you keep rolling this damn high. <sighs> okay. Survey says yes. So, right. you lift, you Let like. the DM kill you with your pet, damn it. I'm going to <laughs> lift her up and I'm going to put her on my shoulders like a scarf. Like a scarf. Okay. She tries to eat your shadow, like just bites at it, but like she goes through because it's smoke. So it kind of looks like that one scene in o um, OG Scooby Doo where Shaggy like cuts out a donut of smoke. Yeah. God, Rouge looks crazy as fuck right now. I know the yeah. top hat, the steak. Oh my fucking god, you look like a 1930s pimp, but as a like midget woman. Yeah. Which is hilarious because of all the things she has done, it fits so well. <laughs> no, this is right, hilarious. Back this... to buttering. Yeah. Back to buttering. Give yeah. me. Here's more of my. Oh, food. you're gonna butter me up. Oh my. Make it four, and you got yourself a deal. Two rings then, and I'll throw in six. One what? ring, and it's four. Roll a persuasion check with advantage. She lacks you. Yeah, but there's also Ivan. I know. Uh, four rings! Four. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Six matches, four rings. I'm sorry, Ivan, but I'm running a business here. You're not doing a very good job, apparently. What the fuck kind of bartering is that? Uh, one says, I'm here with a caravan and you're all stuck out in the desert, and I'm still willing to take you back if you take the deal. Mm. Are you blackmailing me right now? No! This is called extortion! There's a difference! What a mean lady. 
<laughs> I'm not blackmailing you guys. Don't worry. I'm just extortion. It's extortion. It's just a extortion. Tell that on a shirt. <laughs> that's I mean, pretty. Uh, that's our dad's character. Jesus. <laughs> okay, I think I broke Sarah. <laughs> just a little bit. <laughs> <sighs> Are you gonna take the deal or not? What do we have to get? Uh, violent. Freaky. Oh, okay. Oh. Well, that's a form of freaky. <laughs> yep. Y'all know who you're talking to, right? Oh, I know very well who I'm talking to. You know, I almost uh, like you better without the beard. God, I would like to know, this is the first time anyone else has heard that I've never had a beard. <laughs> uh. I've, this is the second time that Argentum has witnessed Ivan getting into shit that he may not be able to get out of, so I mean... <laughs> when was the first time? Uh, when we got abducted by snakes, and you shot a dude. Oh yeah, that happened! <laughs> oh yeah! Way the hell back. Oh yeah, that's right, I was got being around. incredibly racist that the two of you did jack shit to prevent. Cause we weren't the victims. <laughs> Okay, that was right. that was a well, bad explanation. That That's a bad you explanation. You remember that next time. <laughs> I swear I'm to God, you're holes. like an edgy Telltale character half the time, Ivan. <laughs> Clem, what are you doing, Clem? <laughs> All right, well, mm -hmm. I'll put that deal on the back burner for now. All right, I'm looking for a weapon. I want something destructive, but ambiguous. So, your body odor? Mm. <laughs> something a bit strong. Very something not as strong. <laughs> I mean, you have a pretty destructive band right back there with those three. She points to Rouge, Calden, and Argentum. Who flexes. <laughs> Do you even know what you're traveling with, Ivan? She's whispering this, just for note. Gotcha. Yeah, Arjun just sees, him, sees her pointing at him. He's like, yeah, flex. She gives you a thumbs up. Yeah. Not sure what that has to do with me wanting to buy something with you. Ah, <sighs> You already have three value things more powerful than anything I have back here. It's called Paladin Smite. No, it actually isn't. It's called Story I... Relevance. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but if you want something, if you want something to, uh, you know, get your, it's like a lot of fire in your loins, I think I can oh. dig up a thing or two. <laughs> okay. Now you're talking my language, lads. You almost said uh, <sighs> she kind of like has these like half-hearted sides. Like, you know, I can't decide if I'm missing talking to you or not. So she like goes back and like gets to the crystal horses and several flash of lights and a like minor explosion later. It's like, and everyone else back here is like, it's like, oh god, it's another Quincy. No, no. Oh god, not no. again. We don't need another. But with more magic. <gasps> no. True. Huh. And she comes out, and she brings out a small ring that is, like, ruby red and is, like, carved in the shape where a dragon's head is getting over the little red crystal. I'm flattered, but no. No, okay. Mm -hmm. And she's like, here you go. What are you paying for it? Well, what's it do? She, like, slips it on points to the rock uh, over here where this uh, thing was and then uh, and then uh, let's see so basically it glows a bit and suddenly this small little pointed line comes out it goes to the rock and then you all guys hear a woo sound as the line of light shoots out the other side Subtle enough for you? Oh, Wait, so what happened to the rock? Did it disintegrate? Uh, it basically like dug a tiny hole through it with a very superheated plasma beam, or oh, fire no. beam. 
Here, I'll let you know how much damage it does. Oh god. Please no. Oh, that's it? Okay. It's just a fire breath spell ring, basically. Oh. But, if you, but she's not telling you that part. Because what she did was something special. Special. Define special. You'll have to figure out if you attune to it. She's semi-con woman, remember? Wait, she attuned to it in that short little bit of time? Magic merchant. Magical. Mathematical. That's a very nice toy you got there, but... You nah. said subtle and destructive. Speed. So are we going back I to the did. matches or not? Oh no, the matches I think I'm gonna take, but... One ring, four matches. That's my okay. rule. One ring of yours for four matches. I just told you that's not a good deal. Well, I told you that your deal isn't a good one. I know, that's because you're kind of a moron. Probably smarter than you, let's be honest, lass. <laughs> Not. Bruce is like, ooh. Not helping. <laughs> if you weren't, you wouldn't have wanted this right here. Bruce is that girl in middle school. Just build ooh. your own. Yeah. Ooh, what are you gonna do about it? Ooh. Bruce is secretly, like, kind of whispering. <laughs> kiss, kiss, kiss. <laughs> oh, <Jesus>. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You wanna know smart? Then let's see you get out of here on your own. And she starts hogging back in her cart and she starts driving away. Hey, 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 hey. Rouge is like yelling at her like I paid <laughs> Yes, to come out here. But you're paying to get back. Rouge wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Rouge was more focused on Lucy than the situation. Mm -hmm. The arrow is still above your head, by the way. <laughs> yes. Just turning around Bruce and talking. Rouge is still doesn't very embarrassed about conversation, that. You know. well, sorry, what did I even say? I said... Turning around and pouting doesn't mean you actually want something. Just means you're defeated. Nah, nah. It just means I come back and collect the rings from your corpse later. You honestly think that something in this desert's gonna put me down? She just kind of like smiles, like, "Oh, you poor fool." That's not supposed to be in that layer. Oh no. Do you really want to take that chance? Don't you have stuff? I'm not giving you four of my rings. No, no, don't, no, dude, 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 no, no, wait. It's, two, it was two rings for four matches. I thought you said four rings. For okay, six yeah. matches. Oh no, no, no oh, for over oh, six matches, yeah, it's four rings. For six. You didn't tell me that second deal you just said. Yeah, sorry. Okay, no, no, I'm sticking with it. It's four rings for six matches. Because you wanted to up it. Because the original one was like one ring for two matches. Three. One ring for three matches, that's what you're saying. Yeah. That was the original, then I put it up to four matches for one ring. Okay, okay, so back up. Cause... Okay, so it should have been... She should have offered... She should have offered for, uh, four matches for two rings. That's what should have happened. I don't know how we got to four rings for six matches. Should be three rings. That's why I'm like, dude, what the fuck? No. I'm trying to figure out how we got here. I have no idea. You lost me about 40 minutes ago. <laughs> yeah. Four. It's like, mm -hmm. oh yeah, yeah, the extra rings for the trip back. That's what I, uh, sorry, I forgot to say that and I was calculating it. My bad. You ever done that? You forget to say something, but you actually calculate it? Mm -hmm. Yes. All the time. 
I'm sorry, that was a DM fault. But no, four rings for uh, six matches plus trip back. I apologize for my non-clarity. In case you stopped the card, so that's her final offer. Oh, God. Hmm. Is that your final answer? Don't do this to me, Howie. <laughs> <laughs> you ever seen one of these before? And I walk up closer to her holding uh, one of the shells for my gun. My revolver. Uh, oh, the gun. I'm holding out an ammo. I yeah, you're holding a uh, bullet. Yeah, you're holding out one of the musket caskets. Yeah. Uh, all right. Actually, yes. They're in Dallas, well. uh, like Dallas Peaks, your sister, I believe, is making a few. Yes, yes, we know about that, but I'm talking elsewhere. That's extra information. I'm trying to make a deal here with you, woman. What? Okay, so what do you what do you want? What do you want from me exactly? You just want information, a ride back, and the matches. Have you seen one of these before? Yes, I have. I just answer that question. Do you have any of them, though? Oh, she like reaches into a back pocket. And she pulls out a smaller pouch. I bought some from Madeline when I was upping her when we traded some knowledge. You just bought ammo with only about Lagoon? what? With what? No, no. I gave her the knowledge of how to enchant things, which she seems to have used. If that new fancy gun is any indication. But, you know they're useless without one of these, right? And he's like, nudging at his pistol. I know! It's like, and then she brings out like a half-formed one. That's why I'm making one! Although, are you offering to finish it for me? Depends. What tool you got back there? <laughs> Easier question is, what don't I have? Sure, but do you have a workshop back there? Because when we get back, I, she I like, don't uh, want to be working okay. on it. She, like, uh, goes in there, gets a, like, goes in, gets a book, and where is this? Uh, I had this somewhere. No, that wasn't it. Nope. And basically, like, she throws down this book in the middle of the desert, and it flips over to a page that has this, like, image of a, like, workshop table. And then a workshop table just kind of, like, springs to life in the middle of the desert. With every tool you could need. Will that suffice? No, that's handy. Hmm. Can you fit it on the cart so, you know, we can it's, work? It's like, you notice that it is yeah. actually literally still, like, the book is literally there as one of the t chair legs supporting it, and it's slightly glowing. Like, it looks like it's still in the book. Okay. Okay. It's like, how about this? One ring for three matches, and I'll finish your pistol over there. Two matches, and you get a deal. Hang on. 
probably start a new one because that one doesn't look very uh, workable. Roll a deception check. Hmm? You're rolling a deception check. Because you're I'm smart enough to know when you're lying. <laughs> I'm insulting a craftsmanship. Mm. I'm not lying. Well, you said functional, right? Workable. Like, as in, I can't work on it, kind of thing. Oh, okay. My bad. He's uh, being prideful that he's the better worksman. Yeah. I know. It's like, okay, I, I, okay, I thought you meant workable as in yeah, it yeah. couldn't be used to, like, no, finish. No, no. <laughs> which would have been a blatant lie for someone of your caliber to know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Alright. I'm just talking shit. Yeah. It's like... So, one ring, three matches, I'll finish your gun, but... You have to give me your word that you're not gonna sell it or plans to anyone. Ah, fine, fine, fine. It's like, all right, we'll make sure we can't. And she brings out a little like blue quill and a tiny uh, sheet of like dark navy paper, and then like starts signing in, and the quill like comes out with white text. And it's just a basic contract saying she won't do anything. Oh, contracts. Those have never done anything bad ever. Don't even get us started, dude. <laughs> yeah, Fucking yeah. Man. You have no idea. <laughs> well, Fucking... I swear, anyone who offers you a contract must secretly have some horns. Or some cloven feet. I'm sorry, I'm in a campaign with oh, boy. Bodhi over here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One of our player characters is exactly that. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Uh, he is like a devil lawyer. Uh, Alright, so, okay, but you know Ardette, and she seems to very be like. She seems like she's on the up and up as far as you are concerned, uh, Ivan. <clears throat> I mean, she's a bit of a dick, but so are you. I mean, she, she means there's no fuckery in the contract, is what you would assume, based on every interaction you've had with this woman. Mm. And I'll tell you what, you don't even have to put it in the contract. Anytime I see you in the future, I'll give you a batch of ammo. Ah! Okay, I won't put it in the contract, but I'm going to hold you to it. Or I'm going to hold it against you. you got a lifetime stalker now. <laughs> oh, that is such an ugly word. Don't you? Wouldn't you prefer something like uh, secret yeah, rev secret reviewer or window shopper? That sounds like the worst like secret shopper term. <laughs> secret reviewer. I don't need a ghostly YouTuber following me around. <laughs> that sounds nice. When has when has, oh when has a YouTube you when has a YouTube reviewer ever not been loud and obnoxious when they're assholes? Uh, even the good ones have done it a, on a couple occasions. Yeah. <sighs> Alright. So here we go. Alright. <coughs> okay. Oh, God. Sorry. That wasn't in character. <sighs> Alright, that's a deal. Now, all you quiet bitch. She all you. She yeah. the contract. Yeah. She has to start again. That's yeah. how she seals them. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. It's so it's nasty not. you won't touch it again to change it. It's <laughs> <laughs> so nasty you don't want to touch it to read it. What are we, six? <laughs> I mean, we're laughing. Yeah. It's like, now you three little bitches behind the rocks, you can come out now. You can stop hiding. Hmm? You're uh. like, you three haven't talked at all, so I assume you just died, like, are hiding. Just, oh. just like watch this go yeah. down like around the corner <laughs> no no it's just I wanted a good shady spot to watch this all I know but like I feel like I should be getting paid for my performance here you're getting a free show no. <laughs> I've already paid you enough oh, I've paid you enough <laughs> release me woman <laughs> It's, it's like release to me, you foul wench. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, Brett, oh, my little scaly buddy, I'm not a foul wench. I'm just frugal. 
for Rugal. Anyways, deal struck. Uh, you, I believe you now hold 18 pounds of beard of holding. Because each ring is two pounds, I think. If we're going by your picture. Mhm. Mm yeah. <clears throat> okay. Now, now you guys all get to hop in the cart. All right. Rouge hops in. Yep. Everyone else hop in, or are you guys just standing here with your dicks yeah, out? Yeah. <laughs> <Rouge. laughs> yeah. He is pretty good. Okay. Rouge so, is going. I'm going. Yeah. So she goes over, she closes the book, and the entire uh, thing seals up with it. So it kind of looks weird because it looks like the table like folds in space with the pages. Kinda like a bad glitch in a 3D, 3D asset. Oh. I kind of love modern lingo for descriptions sometimes because they just give you the best visual for what I'm talking about. Mm. <laughs> like it looks like someone Gary's modded this thing up. I love Gary's mod. Okay, so you all hop in the cart? Yeah. Yep. Have. And. He's stab himself the comfiest chair. They're all made of rocks. The comfiest rocks. Yep. Okay, There's you get. Soft rocks. The rockiest of rocks. Yes. It's like, yeah, but I don't have any Dwayne crystal back there. Huh. <sighs> Alright. Ah, uh, so you guys are starting to head back. It's around a two-day trip back to Dolan's <laughs> Peaks. Uh, R Rouge is still looking at a weird box. Galded, you're here now. And, okay. Ivan, where do you want to sit? Did you want to sit up, up front with our debt, or did you want to sit in the back with everyone else? Uh, I mean, I'm building a gun, right? Oh, no, you did that before you left. Oh, okay. I thought oh, shit. we were doing that while we were trying. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Never mind you, Tinker's still check. Mm hmm. Um, how many checks? Uh, just two. Sure. Because, like, one for each day. Mm -hmm. Okay! You make her a very functional bull plus one gun. Wait, plus one? Yeah. I make her a better gun than what I have. You have a plus one. <laughs> but my other two pistols are plus one. <laughs> well, you didn't have the magic. You didn't have the same amount of materials. She literally has magic metal to work with back here for you. Damn. Like that work table, the metal you were using was literally enchanted. You just don't have like the uh, attuned. You're not attuned to magic to see it. <laughs> Take that gun and leave your gun behind. <laughs> you can't actually tell it's a plus one. Because, again, you're not that well attuned to magic as a fighter. I mean, you could try to roll an arcana check if you want, but... No. Okay. Flashbacks to when Red Crow would just do all the arcana checks. We found out we could, he couldn't actually pass any of those checks he was going for because all the DCs were over 20. Yep. Okay, so you guys get back. You go back to the face. Okay. You go back into the gate. Ardette actually like helps you out a bit by like waving her way through. So that uh Ivan doesn't get like checked out again for his red armband. Do I still have the arrow above my head? Yes. No no no, sorry. Twenty four hours only. It lasts twenty four hours. Okay. No, sorry. The arrow dissipated in the middle of the night. Cool. Thankfully, no dreams Good. for anyone. Yeah. So you're back in town. Our debt drops you off in a shady alley. It's all like, right. all right, I'll see y'all later. Although, I hope you have enough shrink and stuff to get around. Oh, yeah, because you guys are big again. <laughs> you should still have two vials left, I believe. At least Colin should have at least a vial left. Yeah, I th yeah, I've got one left. Yeah. Then again, you do have two matches, so though that, that where we dropped you all back off, you're in the Dauntless Peaks area. Uh. As she rides off, I wink and give her like a kissing thing. 
Roll an, you sly dog. Roll another persuasion check? I mean, I'm not trying to persuade her for anything. I know, but I'm just going to save this for later. <laughs> <laughs> this is for his own personal benefit and enjoyment. Okay. Good to know. Okay. So you walk back, and the city is in a weird state of between mourning and chaos because there's still a wrecked town square that you guys kind of planted the songbird into with the statue of the founder Varian, like, toppled over. <laughs> and, like, people are picking it up. It also just seems to be this, like, sad atmosphere that wasn't here when you guys were gone. You've been gone for a, roughly five days from the city proper. Gotcha. I was wondering how long it did. Well, two days to get there, two days to get back, plus shenanigans in between. <laughs> yeah. Well... Did somebody die? Uh, like, like, they don't, you don't, uh, you're gonna go ask somebody that? Yeah, I'm gonna go ask Walk somebody. Up. Yo, did somebody you know die? Jesus. <laughs> it's so sad here. Okay, you find Why this. Wait, so again, right? Did you ask the god of that? Uh, you're inside. This is just a visual thing. Yeah. You're inside this gate. This is the gate. This is just to remind me where you are with a, like, a yeah, quick yeah. visual. Hmm. Because the yeah. map, for some reason, the map fucks up every time I try to import the Dauntless Speed back into Roll20, so I just gave up. Mm -hmm. Rouge, we can probably surmise that it's not that somebody died, but Yosef probably brought the dead back to life, you know? He's a bit sadistic like that, don't you remember? No, I don't. Don't you know? Don't you know, eh? <laughs> okay. So what would you like to do? <coughs> well, let's go to Ivan's. Yeah, let's go find. Let's go there. All right. Oh, are we actually gonna make it, guys? No. What? It's like the one plot point that we have never managed to get to. Are you gonna try to go <laughs> or not? Let's do I it. <laughs> Thumbs up, Leroy. It's like let's Aaron's go. basement in Attack on Time. Exactly. Let's go now. <laughs> Ivan, this is your time. story. Pick something. <laughs> sure, let's do it. All right. So you get your tunnels, and then you for kind of forget about Colden and Argentum not being able to get into them. Minor. Did you take the potions? No. <laughs> <laughs> do you take, take the damn potions, yes. you know? You knob. You knob. You filthy knob. What are you doing, you wanker? I'm getting good. Sorry. I'm getting good. <laughs> Real men don't need potions to go through these tunnels. <laughs> Just keep ramming yourself. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> this train don't take no for an answer. <laughs> it's like... I mean, when you th when someone says it's tight, you just keep going. <laughs> exactly. Oh god. No matter what they say. No okay, matter just situation, children. If works. this ever gets to my children, if I have children, <laughs> don't follow that advice. It is stupid calm, advice. Calm That's down, the Yosef. worst advice. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> just I just slam my leg shut. I'm just like nope, nope. This nope. is a uh, PSA, public service announcement, kids. Porn is bullshit. That. <laughs> it is. Stop. Get some help. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> All the memes are coming back. We're doing it. Yeah. But to end this tunnel's whole career. Yes. <laughs> Alright, so did you take the potion so you could fit? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I didn't realize they're dragons with long necks, and this is still phallic as shit. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'll fit. Oh. Okay, so you took the potions. Yep. Ah. <laughs> I would very. Uh, wait, where the shit's your thing? What? Wait, that's the wrong. I know I fucking made Psych? this. That's the wrong num. I know I fucking made this. Where'd it go? There it is. There be a tingy. And after weaving to the city's end, 
not seeing stuff for weeks on end. Finally, finally, Ivan, you have arrived at your home. Yes. <laughs> at least the door finally. to your home, which seems heavily renovated. Heavily renovated. <laughs> because the the walls look solid now, and there's also this giant steel ass door in the way. Goddamn doors! They always get in the way. Like doors are old enemy. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? The angry mob, didn't they burn it down or something? Trash the place? No, no, they burned down the library. <laughs> Who needs books? They were more mad at Dazu. <laughs> Your house, frankly, is too sturdy to burn, and it was locked. Too dirty to burn? Sturdy. Sturdy, okay. I thought you said dirty, and I'm like, what? <laughs> Well, that's also I'm bad because if something's dirty enough, what? you like get, make toxic fumes, and then the toxic fumes we could get outside, and in the tunnel was, system that could be very bad. I was about to say, are we gonna get some acid rain up in here? Yep. I mean, you can technically make it. Brilliant Moving stalker. On. <sighs> <sighs> well, Irving, do you have a key? Not Irving, Ivan. Irving, you got a key? Okay. No. Do I need to pick the lock? I don't have a key going with the pirates to a fucking boat for god knows how long and then finding you fuckers. It's your house. I'll come back, mom, one day. I'll keep I'm... the key. <laughs> well, fine. Rouge is good. I probably have one still if those fuckers in Bufferet didn't steal all my shite when they put me in prison again because the two of you fuckers didn't do shite yeah it's <laughs> gotta spread peace and love no i'm just kidding is there a possibility <laughs> that your sister might be inside and we could knock and see if she'll open <laughs> hello sister <laughs> open please i mean there is this weird door that you don't recognize what? ivan mm go up and try to open it. <laughs> okay. If it was my house, it's gonna be my house again, goddammit. You try these tools, <laughs> but then you go to the door, as you try these tools, you realize there's no lock. There's just a very simple hole. Oh, oh. god. Oh my. Oh. <laughs> Ivan, what have you done with the place? <laughs> it's a very small uh, circular uh, oh. protrusion. Oh. I'm sorry, god Ivan. Damn it. I'm sorry. I, this was planned before we got the dick conversation. <laughs> <laughs> you have failed to uh, remember our uh, small okay. uh, it's like, brains. Do you? There is some like weird text in the door in Dwarvish at the bottom. Who speaks Dwarvish? Maybe the dwarf. <laughs> I was waiting for the dwarf to say something, but he didn't. So now I'm kind of confused. <laughs> dwarf speak his own language. I was about to say, can he speak Dwarvish? He didn't say anything. Um... Hey, Ivan, you speak Dwarvish, right? You're a dwarf? Nah, I don't speak it. <laughs> and then it turns out that all it says in Dwarvish is fuck off. Pretty much. <laughs> Unless you got booze. So does anyone read it? that was racist. Booze or get the fuck out. Yeah, <laughs> booze or get it. the fuck out. So does anyone read it? Yeah, I do. Okay, so it says the board is, if you're not my brother, fuck off. Hey, that means we can go in. It's like, if you are my brother, it's like, if you are my brother, you can figure this shit out yourself. It's like, it's like, and that's what it says. If you're not my brother, fuck off. If you are my brother, you can figure out how to get in yourself. So Ivan's just got to stick something in that cylindrical hole. So, could it be one of your guns? <laughs> just stick a gun through the door. I'm home. Guns oh. make the best keys. <laughs> He sticks well, I highly... He did say guns. <laughs> Jesus. So what are you guys doing to get past the door? It sounds like we're gonna shoot it. Well, <laughs> you don't have to shoot it. Well, maybe you do have to shoot it. I don't know. Stick a gun in I it. Wanna, <laughs> I wanna inspect the door. Investigation check. You know, yeah, Just plug the hole. See in front of me, kind of thing. It is a door. It has dwarf writing. It looks like very, very sturdy platinum. Oh. Plastic. Sorry, sorry, titanium, my bad. I was making Oh, it's about to be like, we should sell the door. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Take the door I was off the gonna be like, fuck the mission. <laughs> We're taking this door and selling it. 
You're goddamn right we are. <laughs> Story plot. Nah, man, this door's made of platinum. Let's get fucking rich. <laughs> <laughs> How did you derail the campaign? Sell the door and leave a happily ever. Sell the door. <laughs> Dude, you realize how many, people, how many adventurers like pass like ancient doors and shit and just like keep going? No, man, just take the thing off the hinges. Let's go. Some collector wants that. I'm sorry. <laughs> the mystic screwdriver. <laughs> the mystic screwdriver. Uh, yeah. Actually, reminds me of campaign where, um. Who was it? Someone I saw on YouTube where they they walked into this keep and they had these huge adamantine doors and the party just stole <laughs> the doors and ran off. That was yep, you they, didn't well. even, they didn't even look what was going on in there. <laughs> you may as well, man. I mean, you're gonna really go through a whole dungeon with doors? <laughs> <laughs> no, you go back. There's actually a good song about this. <laughs> yeah. Stealing the front door. <laughs> it's fucking great. I mean, you can try. No. Oh, I got the giggles real bad today. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good day to have the giggles. <laughs> well, I mean, does this door open outwards or inwards? There are no seams. Hmm. There's there is just hole. the dwarvish text and a hole. No hinges that we can see on the outside? That Not that you can see. And there, you said there's no cracks. Take it off. Huh. <laughs> nope. Um, hmm. I don't know. Is there something you can shoot through the hole? Hmm. So, what <laughs> does the hole look like? What, it looks it very just... small, and it looks like a hole. <laughs> so just there is. The you can't see in. No, no. It goes into darkness. Wait. It looks like it goes, into, question. it goes into the door. Important question. How big around is the hole? Uh. Put your fingers together in a circle for the OK signature. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. So that's not helping. <laughs> no, it's not. How big are your hands? No, no. Never mind. <laughs> Do you have tiny hands? No, I've got large hands actually. <laughs> so it's just roughly the same. I think we're around the same height. Rouge is clapping her hands. Put your gun in the hole. You just gotta fill the hole. Ah. I don't think. This would fit in the hole, would it? Do we have a stick or a piece of rope or something we can just put through to make sure nothing like cuts it off? I mean, <clears throat> you have swords. What do you that think we're putting in the hole? What? What? We're talking about the gun. I meant you fingers, actually but think okay. You're putting your dick in there. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was thinking about my finger in. I was thinking about putting my finger in to feel around. Maybe there's a switch or something around there. I don't know. It's... So a rope is gonna stop your finger from being cut off? No, no, no. I was gonna put the rope through to make sure if there was a trap, it would cut the tip of the rope off. <clears throat> would right. she actually trap this? I don't know. I haven't so, rolled. Do you, how well do you know your sister? <laughs> uh, how well do you know your sister? <clears throat> Pretty well, but how deep does this hole go? Like, can I see, like. You can't see through it. Door? It goes into pretty much darkness. Right. And if you want to tell how deep it goes, <laughs> stick something in it. To measure. Like, do you have a yardstick? Does the hole just look like a clean cut? Is there, like, any grooves I can see going into it? It looks like a very clean cut hole. Mm. It looks mm. like it's very round. It almost looks like it was scooped out by an ice cream scooper. Hmm. Not my ice cream okay. scooper. I already know what I'm titling this episode. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Ice Cream Scooper? No, something completely Ivan. different. <laughs> Ivan's Glory. <laughs> oh. Mm, sure, I'll just pull out a pitten from my bag because oh. I have a climbers kit. Okay, a Wait, pit. I got a candle. You want to try a candle? Just stick the candle through. I mean, I mean does it fit in the hole? I, thought, I, I mean, it candles it. are wax, so they can. Pitten's yeah. like the thing you secure a rope to, right? Yeah, it's like those little spikes um, you use. Okay, are uh, you going to jam the pitten in? I mean, does it fit in? I mean, the end does, but pittens get slightly bigger as they go up. Just the tip. They do. 
Okay, the tip the tip goes in fine. Just tip. <sighs> Does it? Do I seem to find an end to the hole before, like, it grows too wide? It seems it, it seems to go until the pitten hits the end. And with that, I'm gonna need all of you to make dexterity saving throws. Hey. <laughs> Let's go. Woo! Oh no. That's a failure. No. Oh no. Dex saving throws. I've got a plus one, guys. Oh. Actually, you got a plus four right now because you and Calder next to each other. Thank Christ. So I've got. Uh, Does 10. that mean we all get it? Let me get mine. Uh, you're not ten, within ten feet of them, unless okay. do you want to wreck on that? As you are all, like all right here. I figure we'd all kind of look at the hole. Yeah. Okay. We'll do that as we're all right here. So you basically all get a plus four bonus because of the two paladin charismas. Yes. They don't stack with each other, by the way. So it's it's my campaign. I do what I want. I do what I want. <laughs> all right. Paladin OP. I'm not gonna be a part of your system. I know, but like, no, but seriously, I have to do that to balance out some boss fights I tested out with some other friends. Because mm. otherwise, you guys will be fucked. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that's four. That is one pass from the dwarf. Woo! So, heal okay, I take. Guys, I can heal. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, uh. Everyone else takes. Oh, shit! Oh! Oh my. Everyone oh. who failed takes that full damage and is knocked prone. I haven't done half oh. damage. I just almost shit myself because I. Because the I, ground I, starts shaking like crazy and the door kind of like just opens back and that is force damage. Okay, I almost shit myself because I forgot that resting, you know? So I was at 34. Oh, I was no. like, wait a second. No. You should be level 8. You should be able to survive one of these. Oh, I'm still level 7 on my sheet. Well. Just level up while you all recover from getting knocked on your fucking asses. Eventually, I'll level up. We'll do that. You minus okay. thirty-eight. So the door just looks like you didn't think a door could look disappointed, but somehow something out of face does. As you were all like knocked to the ground, except for Ivan. Blurg. Don't do that again. Put that in. wasn't fun. Put it in. <laughs> <laughs> I guarantee. Like, I'm gonna say this to the DM. You do have the solution. <laughs> we do have the solution. Okay. Uh oh. Can we just like blast a hole in the door? That is a bad solution. That's a bad solution. Who does anybody have a cert of a thing that would fit that we have no idea what it is? I don't know. I haven't been here in a while. I don't know if we've gotten anything important. I'm like, uh, we could try the candle method, and <laughs> yeah. Should we heal up first? There's a hole yes. and the message. If you're not my brother, fuck off. So Ivan's got to put his finger yeah. in the hole. If you are my brother, figure this out. Oh. 10d8s, and that's with like four ones, dude. Well, I'm going to take the pitten prick a hole on the end of my finger and then stick the finger in the hole. I would like I'll to say heal everyone he does that. Take and I'm going to say to everyone, take a step back. Uh we're going to take several. Yeah. Don't worry. <laughs> the blood drips over here. here. The blood drips down the door and nothing happens. Cold is the only caring friend. <laughs> I tried I tried to push the door open with the bloody finger. Or with the other hand, because I'm assuming one finger is still in the. So you have hole. one finger in the hole and you're pushing the door? Yeah, with the other hand. Nothing happens. Try it with the blood. <laughs> Alright, write your name and blood on the door. The door. I don't know. <laughs> it does not work. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's a sliding door. I try to slide the door open. You feel a slight budge! But it's too oh, damn it's... heavy. <laughs> oh. Everybody. As you try to slide it down. <laughs> oh. Okay. Um. Hmm. Oh my god, this is. <laughs> I thought this was. Is like... this what Matt Mercer had to go to through during that episode? <laughs> I don't know what episode you're talking about. They, they wasted like 15 spells trying to get through a door. <laughs> It's level seven uh, and eight characters. 
Okay, we know Ivan has to open the door. Somehow. Wasn't one of the guns that you got was made by your sister? It was, but the hole isn't big enough to fit it in there. It's not? Okay. Yeah, but we know Ivan's right? gonna do it. Not the gun! Mm, Is there maybe a Chris? part of the gun? Yeah! Like oh, maybe can you put a bullet yeah. in there? Can it fit in the hole, the gun? Uh, it could fit in the front of the hole. Oh. It's like the whole thing won't fit in, so there's no way of knowing it'll be there. <laughs> yeah, the whole thing won't fit in, but the front part of the barrel will fit in the hole. Oh. I mean, sure, I'll try to fit, like, the crystal part of Crystal Lasher in there. Okay, do you do anything else, Crystal Lasher? I guess turn it like a key? Does not work. God damn these complex doors. <laughs> Fuck this campaign plot, guys. We're going to go kill a dragon. Yeah. Just kidding. <laughs> um, just kidding. Please, no. Fuck this door. We're stealing it and walking off. We're <laughs> stealing this door. Okay, okay Chris Lash is in the door. Do you do anything else? The only thing mightier than all right, all right. Everyone, yep. take a step back. I'm going to try to fire into the door. Down okay. the hallway. Don't worry about it, buddy. <laughs> As the, you boom through the d door, you hear a crack and then a whoosh. And then a lot of clicking as the door slowly ticks down. Oh. The episode is going to be called Rouge Was Right, because she said this like five seconds after you found the door. Yes, exactly. God damn. <laughs> I am the puzzle queen. Am <laughs> the hole is the size of your thumb and index finger put together. Yeah, yeah so like a circle. Yeah, a circle. Okay, okay. You can fit a bullet through a there. gun does not fit in there. Yes, it does! does. We're talking the OK circle symbol? A, a pistol? Yeah, like your revolvers? Are you the gatekeeper? I am the key master. Right You're fitting the front. You didn't fit the whole thing in. You fit the front of it in, the barrel part. Just the tip. You gotta go to the restroom. You fit the tip in, and then you fired. Oh, man. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> Oh, been a while, hasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's like Rouge is Right or Sexual Innuendo. It's going to be one of those two titles. Yep. Hi, babe. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> uh, making sex jokes. Yeah, that's why it said, if you're my brother, figure it out, because that's why she gave you Crystal Asher way a few seconds ago, remember? It was supposed to be a gift from her. This is why you keep notes. <laughs> okay, so you're inside. <sighs> Three of you are still bloody as shit. Yeah, buddy. I should probably heal. I <laughs> mean, there doesn't seem to be any immediate danger. Yet. That's the DM's trick. That means danger's coming. Or it's like the DM's trick's warning you, Oh my god, you guys should probably use your short rest now. <laughs> oh. Yeah, just we get through the door. God damn it, guys, that was difficult. Let's let's rest an hour. Just wait for somebody to come meet us. I mean, I'd rather not go in with a rogue on nine health. <laughs> no, I'm back. I, I, the rogue's back from peeing. Yeah. Uh, I mean, fucking a. We can heal up, I guess, or rest up, I guess. Or we can heal up. It doesn't matter. Well, what do you guys do? Heal or rest, because those take different abilities. I mean... Well, well are we just going to take a nap in the doorway? <laughs> yep, we got through. Nap time. There is a lever, like, over here. I forgot to put in the map. Like a button lever. Uh, well, a button lever. It. The door comes back up. <laughs> hey. <laughs> We're screwed. Cool. No, Alright, I guess it's time to make one big old nap pile. Down, right? Yeah. Yeah. There, there is a bedroom over here-ish. Yeah, hey. I was gonna say, is that a bed over there? Yeah. Is anybody even here? No, it seems very empty. There's some right. scattered work desk papers, a table I forgot to fill out with extra shit, and mm -hmm. a, a little secure room that you remember was you and uh, Madeline's like secret ingredient shop. Basically, if you ever found something interesting you wanted to do something with, you put it in there. You were hoarder, basically, yeah, um, but organized hoarders. How tall is this An organized hoarder, I love it. Uh, about, uh, about six feet. 
Right. How tall are you two again? They're about uh, five. They're about five feet right now. Because they took the shrinking potion. How tall are they? No, I'm okay. seven foot eight. The potion lasts yeah, a week. So, um, oh, yeah. Oh, it lasts a week. Remember, okay. remember how the explanation was? It was for increasing tourism. Because mm. you guys were running lower on funds, so the tourism board came up with the shrinking potion. Shrinking potion. So a long rest or well, a rest won't undo it. Nope. Okay, good. Because that was what I was concerned about. And also, it's only six feet, case. like top-wise. They can still like lie down. They could, yeah. but then like they can just crawl. Yeah. Crawl everywhere, peasants. <laughs> Crawling <laughs> in his house. Yep. Uh. So we we're taking a short rest, right? Yep. Oh, yeah. cool. You're gonna want to roll like all your hit dice. All the hit <coughs> dice. Okay, well there's twelve. Like Rouge plus is just con. looking like ugh. Yeah, plus your con. Yeah. D twelve ten. D ten plus two is already put there. Oh, sure. Do we all oh, need to roll hit two. dice for? I mean, if rest? you're taking a short rest, or you can do something else in the hour, and not get your health back. Rouge needs a short rest. Wow. No. Just, you do have eight of these, remember? <laughs> yeah. Oh. I'm fucking. I'm good. I'm doing good, guys. Alright, Rouge will take that at least. I'm now topped off. Get. And I've still got three hit dice. <laughs> so you all took a rest in Ivan's surprisingly bare home. For a hoarder. Given his workshop, like, well, there's this room <clears throat> over here you don't. There's a door. Oh. It's in there. You don't know. Oh, I'm asking Ivan. <clears throat> what well, do you I... like to know? <coughs> yeah, that's why I'm asking. <coughs> I, I would like to know, hence the question why I'm asking what is in there. Curious. He looks at you and he squints, like, looking at you. He's, like, doing the elevator, looking you up and down. Squints nah. back. Just squints back and eyes him too, because he has no idea what this means. He's <laughs> like, mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And when you say nah, he goes, yeah. Nah, <laughs> nah, <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Honey, I'm imagining Cheryl and Carol doing that. Nah, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Nah, nah, nah. That's great. Oh Jesus. Well, do I remember how to open that door? Because I'm assuming it's locked. <laughs> There's a. Yeah. Do I remember how to open this door? Let me ask this after well, I've told them. Well, apparently, because the front door had a renovation, the whole house does. Uh, no, this is actually a very old door. It just looks like it was fresh sleeping in. There's a keyhole. Do you have a key? Nope. Well, yeah, well, something else. Well, boys, we got a gun. If you can meet the yeah, DC, we've, we've got you, a gun. You open the door. <laughs> hey. And I shut the door. I go in and shut the door immediately. Okay, so you're in here by yourself. I don't have like, yep. uh, I I don't pay for this, so I don't have the stuff like they have the other campaign. So oh, that's all right. You just just our objective just. Why? So <laughs> Ivan went like. Door. So all you can assume is Ivan went into his private room. I open the door really quick. Well, we all know what he's doing in there. Or run away back in. Arjun puts his ear to the door. <laughs> Make roll perception check. Arjun, oh. no, you're gonna hear things you don't want to hear. I must know. No. I got a four. It's like <laughs> I won't hear things that I need. Well, you hear a lot of clanking and shuffling. And Guys, I think, I think he's got somebody chained up in there. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally just his guns bouncing against his hip and armor. <laughs> yeah, but oh, well, yeah, but you said I just heard some clanking and stuff. It's yeah, like, I think he's I think he's got somebody in there. Okay. So Ivan. Why else would he not want us in there? Yeah. You like are kit with a wave of nostalgia come into this giant like two giant crates just full of smaller crates. It looks like Indiana Jones version of Area Fifty One in here, except the crates are open. No, there is no Ark of the Covenant, Rob. Huh? I thought that's what you're typing, honestly. What? That there's like, where's the Ark of the Covenant? 
No. Yeah. No, I'm just pretty much saying he's just like shh. He just like stays there, and he's yes. gonna stay there until Ivan comes out. Okay. Ivan. Madeline, are you here? No response. Ah, <sighs> that was a shot in the dark. Opens the door well. You can come in if you want. All right. Argentum falls in as the door opens. And Rouge just walks over him to go inside. Right. Are you steal anything from here? I'm going to have you hands. How big of a step is that for Rouge? Uh, <laughs> acrobatics check. <laughs> All right. Ah! As she does that, Argento is like, Damn, we're... Okay, you accidentally, <laughs> yeah, like, like, run into, like, you, like, try to do this, but then you jump, and you kind of just, like, headbutt Argento in the nuts. I'm not used to you being so tiny! Teamwork! <laughs> <laughs> Why does that hurt so bad? I've been stabbed, but this is nothing... Oh yeah, our gentleman's was never hit in the dick before. Nope. <laughs> well, ain't that a kick in the dick? You <laughs> okay? Literally. Considering your proximity, you just vomited all over Ivan. Oh no! <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> Teamwork. <laughs> Makes the screams work. Can't scream. It hurts too bad. Ah. <sighs> All right, so does everyone go in? You could say that. <laughs> oh. Okay. He gets up as Arjun just gets up. He's like, ah, slowly. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry, my friend. Okay, do you do anything Every, else? Brady gets one. Walks in and sees what Ivan was doing. Just goes, who do you have chained up in here? What are you talking about? I heard chains. I heard chains clanking. Are you talking about this? And he's like jumping on the spot. Oh, yeah. That... So, what kind of cool stuff do you have in here? Gundam figures? Yes. <laughs> this is where Gundams were created. <laughs> and this is where they were originated from. I'm so sad. I don't think Ev I Ivan was here in the campaign when the Dragon Mecha happened. <gasps> no, he wasn't. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because he didn't get to see that flashback. Yep. Okay, so are you guys going to move around? You're free to control your tokens and everything. Okay. Oh. You do anything? I'm gonna go over here to this desk. What's over here? You see a long list of stuff, including letters, and there seems to be a journal said by Madeline. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm guessing you're gonna read that. Is the journal open to a page or? It's like it does look like it's like one of those things where like someone like tried to close it but dropped it, so it's like half open. So it's like, okay. yeah. Unless it came out in a rush. Yeah, yeah. Well, I guess I'll start from the beginning. Okay. Take my time to read through it. Okay, so you take your time to read through it. You get through, like, some clip pages. And uh, can everyone stop for a second? It's like, and you read several passages. And then you get to an interesting passage where Madeline mentions she met a man named Yosef who seemed very eloquent. Weird human fella. It's like, that's a weird thing about a glove, though. It's, it's like, although she's like, the way she describes him, she like says, the man talks eloquently and with a deep baritone voice. Which sounds very wrong for the guy you got. Uh, yeah. It's like, it's like, very nice, though. Help me with my security measures. As soon as you read that line, you Good. the door over here seems to click. Hey. Shoot. Shoot. Oh no! It's like, and you keep reading the line. It's like, so that means if anyone is in that room without me or my brother for a bit, it'll lock him in, and then the fun starts. Awesome. 
because it's basically the vault. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Fantastic. Free, run back into the room. <laughs> Free. Okay, uh, actually, first, I'm going to have to roll initiative on that happening. But uh, <coughs> let me get the initiative. Let me just get everything up. Just a second. Uh, I got you. They're all turned. That door is going down. Okay. Bless you. Bless you. Uh, thank you. Okay. So, you see, oddly enough, uh, you're gonna hate this by just what it's called. Oh, man. Okay. Alden, you gonna roll your initiative? Yeah. Flesh Golem. Okay, everyone roll initiative except for Calden. Oh, I didn't click on my token. One sec. Always click on the token. Oh. He's just so used to me doing it. There we go. Okay. Auto sort. Descending order. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what's your dexterity, Ivan? I believe it's 20. Yes, yeah, 20. It's 20. Okay, you go first. So let me just move you up here. Or move this guy down here. Ivan, mean, you go first. You read that passage and you heard the door click, and that's where we're starting these six seconds. Mm -hmm. <laughs> click. Shit! <laughs> so I'm assuming the door is locked now. It right. is locked, yes. Again. Main action to oh. use these tools. It's say, what is that door made out of? Uh, just standard steel. So okay. So have fun breaking that down. I was about to say just shoulder rush right through it, like that door's coming down. You can try. You're, you're not, it, dude. It's a steel door. It's He's... gonna be another door to sell. It's gonna be another door <laughs> we can sell. Yeah. It's like he is a dragonborn. You don't know till you try, and I like ridiculous shit. Yeah. Exactly. Um, Worst case scenario. We become a fine door collector. Worst case scenario, first things it's first. comedic relief. First things first, do I see any buttons or levers, anything to open the door from this end? No. It seems to be like based on if you're in the room or not that it locks as a member of the family. Hmm. Well, we're in a bit of a predicament, lads. I can't get to it and open it. No, 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 the lock's still there. Like you. Yeah, I know, but it's a, it's an action to. Oh yeah, yeah, door, yeah. Right? You can't move. Oh, yeah, you can't move that fast. Yeah, dwarfs only have twenty-five feet of movement. So well, Druge like, and Cald will just have to survive around. <laughs> yeah, nah. I'm like ten feet. <coughs> hmm. Okay. Wreck nerds. Okay, so is that well, the end of your I turn? Guess I'm gonna use my. Oh. No, hang on. I forgot about this. I know. I think I know what you're doing. But oh, just tell me to make sure. Do you? I'm guessing action search. No. So I'm gonna use my action to dash <laughs> the ten feet and then action surge. <laughs> okay, you didn't respond to me, but I guess. Okay, <laughs> you picked lock. And the door is gone. Like, it's part of the visual, so just ignore it right there. Yeah, yeah so I have another 15 feet yep. of movement. Okay. So I'll move right here. Okay. You dash in, the golems all stop functioning. Oh, thank goodness. I'm going to be honest, I was counting yeah, on Ivan sure. being a lot more of a dick. <laughs> yeah, so, kind of a good um, assumption. A, a, a well understood assumption. Yeah. So, um, how about we uh don't stay in here without me? Sounds apparently, great. Yeah, apparently my sister she <coughs> she rigged Easy. this whole place in here to work as a jail essentially. If I'm not in here or her. 
Well, all right then. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay, the golems seem to descend back into the pits of messy crates. Ah, they've been hiding. I mean, it's their job to guard the place. Also, I have some weird things that she has been saying about Yosef. Rouge is becoming instantly enraged. <laughs> yeah, it uses brain rage. Yeah. Hold on to that rage for a moment, because you're about to be a whole lot confused. Right here, it says that she met the man, and she said, describes him as eloquent and what was the other word you used? I had a deep, bar bar voice. deep baritone voice. Yeah, and a deep baritone voice. It's like, do you oh, want to keep reading the notes? Weird. Sure. I mean, I'm gonna read them out loud at this point. Okay. Because this is bloody weird. <laughs> okay. So you go and that the. That was story time. Is that the story you want? So you take it and you start reading through a bit more, and she starts describing that she's had this like. He's been talking to Yosef for like weeks on end, and they seem to get along well. It's like they talk about history and craftsmanship, and they have a particular fondness for weapons. And several times she refers to this as this old human, or it's like it's like or getting on in years. And then she like they it's like I asked him, and then you get to an interesting passage that says I asked one day if he let me sketch him, so he he obliged, and but then you see the sketch of. This very older looking man with a very broad jaw, a wide silver beard, and hair that's tied up in a long ponytail with very tired eyes. Rouge and Calden, it looks like Orson. Oh my god. Oh dear. Oh. oh yeah. This was, um. Oh my goodness. This was our old boss. Yeah. Oh. Old boss? From... Yeah. From yeah, Nova Centris. Nova but this is a cherry. Hey, not cherry. This is a. Orson. <laughs> Orson. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm, I'm mixing my names up. Really bad. So, why would he call himself Yosef or Johan or whatever it was. Yes, Yosef. I don't know. This I would like doesn't uh, do, make sense. Rouge do, and recall do you recall the last time you saw him? Last time we saw him, wasn't he uh fighting with his big fuck off bird with against the dragon? Yep. Yeah, that was Although it wasn't his big fuck off bird, he literally has just wings. Oh yeah. 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 And his scythe was picked up by Jerry later on the ship. Yeah. Did he live in on through the scythe? Uh, the scythe's with Jerry, as far as all you know. As far as these, you all know, because you saw it too uh, on Mostaka. <gasps> Did his soul go into the scythe? Well, Ooh. the scythe has never been to Dauntless Peaks, as far as any of you know. Yeah. But, oh, weird. And with that weird info, we are going to end for today. Okay. Well, okay. okay. Right. That's a good spot to leave off. Yeah. Yeah. It's like...